Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Josh, and today we are going to review Angor Rabbit Cotton Wick for vaping. Uh, 18 years or older. I'm not responsible for any underage use or purchase of this cotton or any other vaping object or material or juice. So, this cotton on the back. Says cotton Angor Rabbit is extraordinary formulated for vaping. Well, cotton, cardine, and long fiber has been selected through a preliminary purification process to remove impurities, natural oils, and pesticides. 100% tasteless cotton Angor Rabbit for vapors. Make up easy, wick fast, plenty of store up. Find your Yumi vape. Do not use in a medical setting or situation. And for some odd reason, it says made in the USA. There's no city named USA in China or Japan. So, definitely not made in the USA. But, let's see how it vapes though. What's in my vape right now is Cotton Bacon Prime. Love it. Holds a lot of juice, lasts a good amount of time. Got it from my local vape store. Support your local vape store. You know, they do a lot of work for us. Like, can't get juice off the mail fast enough. You run out. You're going to run, run. You're gonna want to run to your vape store to get you some juice. It's just simple as that. You're not going to want to not vape for two or three days while you're in a shipping process. It's just not really doable. Like, I love nicotine, so. But... So we're going to wick this in here. Right now there's cotton bacon in here. And we're going to see what happens first. Let's get a vape. Let's get my out. Kind of hot for this big doctor, but it I am running Alien Clapton coils, two of them, at 80 watts. It's my go-to wattage. Like, I like a warm vape, but I don't want it to be too warm that my mouth is on fire or my throat. I can't breathe. It's not uh, a comfortable vape, anything above around 100. Like, I've hit mine at my Alien Clapton's pre-built 100 and... 57 watts on the Vupu Drag, which I will make a review about. Love this thing. Simple and works very well. But you guys aren't here to hear about what I like. So I'll show you what you get in the package of Angora Rabbit. So this cotton comes a little different than cotton bacon. One about three and a half feet of just a strip. 
and let me get my fabric scissors out. And if any vapor is one easier way to cut cotton, and you know, you don't have the best pair of scissors, fabric scissors. They work wonders. All I literally have to do is, and it's cut. It's not like a five minute process trying to get the cut through. Does I'm not gonna waste so much time. Whenever you ain't got enough time in this world to last like that. So I'm gonna fold this back up. It's very soft, like almost like a shirt material. And that could be a pro or a con. It's it's all you. I, I bought this myself, so I have no sided reviews on it. I'm not gonna do any discretion on you know if somebody sponsored it or not. That's not how I work. I'm fair, very fair person because you can't tell vapors. Oh yeah, you know this product's good. Oh, they sponsored it, so you know I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, they're good just because they're sponsored. If they're good, they're good. If they're not, well, tough luck. Try again next time. It's not my job to help your company out. Very fluffy though. It's almost like a rabbit's tail. Probably why there's a rabbit on the front. I hate cutting and whipping cotton. It's like the worst thing in the world. So that's how it looks. Evenly packed. No, very much, not very much overhang. This is a mesh RDA, so there's no juice well. So if you ever get a mesh RDA, remember, the more cotton sometimes is better because you're going to be re-dripping your coil every three or four hits. Shit, shit gets annoying real quick. So what I always do, I sit it in there because this is a postless mod, or mod, uh, RDA. I stuff the cotton upwards because I have a screwdriver I can just push down there. Then you. So your cotton's sticking up, right? So all you have to do, take your screwdriver, push it down. Stuff it in the little side of the coil, or not the side, but be in front and the back of it. Whichever way you view it. There you go. Simple as that. Isn't hard. Shouldn't be. So today I'm using blue raspberry slushy. I always put it in different bottles that I don't like the 60-40 uh, blends. I enjoy the high PGs above 80%. So I add some vegetable glycerin and some flavor to it. So, you know, it's not off. And, you know, I add some nicotine, of course. And it works very well. 
makes my juice last longer, which is a pro to some of you guys. Like, not everybody can go out to afford fucking afford to buy juice every fucking couple days. It's not not doable. So, it's wicked. So let's give it a vape. So I'm already telling you right now, this cotton is definitely something else to work with. This is not as easy as it says on the package. It does not want to stay in place. And it is very slow absorption rate. Like, cotton bacon prime, I put juice on it and it's gone like right when it <laughs> juice hits the cotton. There's like no absorption time in cotton bacon prime. I used cotton bacon 2.0 for a while. But it doesn't hold enough juice. It just doesn't. It's, you know, a thinner cotton. But if you're running like an RTA, I would definitely recommend using that thinner cotton. It is definitely a plus. I have a 2.0 instead of Prime. Prime's very thick. Comes in thick sheets. They weigh the same. About the same price. And the coils that I'm using today. They're omen out at on the mag 0.235. And I have it set on the hard ramp up time because I like my vapor protection instantly, not sitting there and let it warm up. Because I live in the state of Illinois where it's either warm outside or cold outside. And usually it's both. Sadly. Mother Nature is something else out here. Definitely not tasteless like the other like some of the bags say tasteless some of them don't some of them say no break up break in time I'm gonna tell you right now. This definitely has break in time. It does not taste good at all I'm an impatient vapor I like no break in time and First it tastes like right now blue raspberry slushy it's just me though, I guess. And yeah, I have a dog. He's right here. He slays next to me. You can't have the cotton. You got a vapor. He's four months old, so he's kind of whiny. It's chucking. Well, really, it is. At 80 watts, these coils just produce. So, pros and cons. The pros, you know, it does hold a bit of cotton or juice. Uh, it's, you know, it's not a bad cotton, pretty cheap. You can find it online for around like five bucks. Cotton bacon at my local vape store is 10. So, you know, it's a plus. I ordered this on a special for a dollar and free shipping. So, you know, it's, you know, a good deal. <laughs> So I'm still getting the cotton taste after three nice fat hits. Definitely a con. Cotton bacon, I don't even get one breaking hit. It's just already broken in and it tastes just wonderful. So now the cotton tastes starting to go away. So 
some of y'all, this might be a con. Some of y'all, you might just not care. Like, I do have those people and friends that they don't care. And for those people, kudos to you that you can let a cotton break in and not be irritated about it. But, you know, I'm going to say the cons of this break-in time. Just the company is pretty weird. It's kind of like not very known about. When you search online, their website doesn't always pop up first. Like you search Cotton Bacon, Cotton Bacon website just pops up. It's there. Uh, I will say that it does hold the amount of juice. Like, I'm still good to vape. It's still wet. So, the amount of juice it holds, definitely, definitely a pro. It does not taste the same as cotton bacon. It tastes a little fresher. They do say that you can let it burn, then re-wick it, and you won't taste it, which we're going to try here in a second. All right, so it's dry. Definitely getting that burnt cotton smell. So let's rewick it and see how it tastes. I'm gonna really regret this if it really tastes nasty. Like, I hate the taste of burnt cotton. It's like the worst taste in the world. It makes me want to like jump off a bridge and land in a shark, like a pool full of sharks. Just, it's terrible. Everybody has different thoughts on it. Like, some people, they're like, well, you know, it's your fault, so you shouldn't really care. I do care. I drop, drip my vape enough. I shouldn't have that issue. It shouldn't be. Like, you can't really tell it's burnt, but... You know, you'll know, you'll definitely know that it's not, like, fresh. You know, that they say you can burn it for 20 seconds. I'm not doing that with this RDA. It's not going to happen. This is regulated, so it's going to, like, short out or something, catch on fire and burn my, melt my vape down. I'm not cool with that. Well, from what I can tell, it tastes the same with an accidental, like, what would be an accidental dry burn. But, I'm going to say that, is this worth going out and spending $5 on? Yeah. If you want to try something different that doesn't cost a lot of money, yeah. You could try Cellu Cotton or uh, Kendo Cotton. Kendo Cotton is really good. Cotton bacon is amazing. It's just kind of expensive. If you want to go out there and spend 10 bucks on a package of it, go for it. Be my guest. I will put a link down in the description for where you can buy this cotton. And I will put out if any vendors want me to test their juice, mods, with reviews, of course. Tanks, RDAs, RTAs. I will. I don't mind. Just I'm not going to go out and spend money on something that I don't know about. I always taste it and test it first before I buy it. Like my local vape shop guy has just about everything in there. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful day and tune back in, like, and subscribe below. And I'll try to bring you some more vape reviews and how to's.